Welcome to School of Civil Engineer. In this video, I am going to show you that how we will apply earthquake load on our building according to ASCE 705. And uh, also this video or this code will be applied for BNBC 2017 because both are similar. And uh, if you are new in this video, you should uh, see the previous video of this like uh, tutorial series so that you can understand understand everything about that building design so let's start first of all i'll open our e tabs this is our uh, ETAPS previous model. By using that model, I'll okay. By using that model, we'll draw our building. Sorry, we'll uh, analysis our building for earthquake analysis. And uh, for that, I have prepared a Excel sheet uh, in. There have a full series about earthquake analysis. Almost there have uh, five video A to Z about earthquake analysis according to BNDC 2017, according to ASCE 705, and according to ASCE 710. And uh, the both version have discussed. So they have a manual calculation and also software calculation for software calculation we will use that value for bnbc user coefficient and for asce 705 and 710 we will use that value so for that first of all we need length and width of the building i mean base length and base width so first of all we will go e tabs and uh, from here we can calculate that Suppose if we see this is for length and this is for width, or we can consider that its width and its length is nothing. Otherwise, we can find out that from here, edit test student grid, it will grid, modify, and from here they have value. Otherwise. From here, we can find out our value for y direction and for x direction. We'll be able to find out our value. So, uh, the long value will take as L. So, 41 point, copy that, paste it here, paste that is value. 41.1667 and uh, again we'll go to e tabs and that value copy that we'll consider that value as width paste and number of a story 10 and then uh, weight uh, it will not affect our that calculation that value is required when we'll go for hand calculation so we are not going for hand calculation that's why height of the building is required height above base from base to top height so for that we have to go here show modify and here 100 4 feet elevation 0 to from base to top is 104 feet so we will go here 104 feet 104 it will and from here we have to select our soil type so from here SA, SB, SC and uh, if you are working with BNBC or ASC you know about that term so I am going to select that SC and uh, from here we have to select our zone for which zone we are considering our building suppose uh, I am going to select about Bangladesh Gopalgaon zone 
because this is my CD so after that we have to go here category which types of building we are constructing uh, as it is residential so we will select for three and they have three more uh, almost totally four category so uh, this four category define different types of building and according to it the important factor are being changed so we go to select category 3 and from here just you have to change the value of yellow box and about that I have make detailed video so link are given in description you have to select or you have to watch that from there to understand about that and uh, from here we have to select our building type so moment resisting frame system no share all and building frame system with bracing or share all as uh, we have share all so we'll select that and uh, from here we have to select which types of building that is we are going here so here a special reinforcement concrete share all ordinary reinforced concrete share all uh, sorry uh, we are not using any share all as wall we are using share all here we are close that close that in our building we are using share all just because of lift not any other purpose that's why we'll select here moment resisting frame and from here we'll select intermediate reinforced concrete frame and uh, from here we'll give her five percent and from here we have to select concrete resisting moment resisting frame is still more resisting frame so concrete resisting frame is done so it's all done after that we'll get our that value and we'll use that value in our etaps so we'll go here after that we'll go here and define load pattern from here earthquake load earthquake load and uh, from here we'll select seismic and from here they have two way user coefficient or ASCE so I'm going to consider ASCE 705 there have two options you can use that portion for ASCE 705 value you'll find wall value here otherwise you have to input that two value only the both value are okay and in my previous tutorial series I have proved that we can use any of them to analyze any kinds of building for that criteria this is for uh, BNBC configuration and this also ok for ASCE and uh, this excel sheet applicable only for Bangladesh as I have select only two things just one thing our town and zone so it can be different for other zone but it is same to same as ASCE so uh, here I am going to ascend that two value just I am going to show you both value earthquake from here user coefficient ok add then modify load we will use only earthquake for every portion x y direction is take value for every and if we use user coefficient then we only need the two value base share coefficient c and building height exposure k so here we'll found the two value here is our two value and uh, again i'm going to show you that cancel 
if I select ASC705 modify and go here then we need that value here SS S on every value are present here SS S on long period transition transition then side class uh, value for FA FB here FA and FB for input that value you have to select here F then you have to select that value and from here R Omega CD I everything are available here and from here you have to select user defined T here also the value of T are available S C D every value are available here just you have to input that so to reduce time I'm just going to input that two value so for that and uh, from here you have to select base to top floor back again I'm going to modify that coefficient modify load go here and from base to top value of k is 1.2729 1.2729 and uh, for C it's uh, 2.03299 okay sorry and 0 03299 it's okay okay our earthquake load are okay so and in this way we can assign our earthquake load otherwise you have to assign your earthquake load according to your code from here you are able to select your code what is your code I don't know but you have to select your code and uh, as you are civil engineer then obviously you know about your code I hope that so from here you have to select your code and have to assign your load and if you don't know that how will assign that how will do that you have to see my previous to it has tutorial that is on the tutorial series known is beginner to advanced level it has tutorial series so from here you will find your every basic so let's again check okay 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 so our earthquake load defined earthquake load defender okay and uh, in next video I'll show you that how we'll define our uh, wind load on this building and how we'll assign our diaphragm for that so let's stay connected to the next video and if you think that this video is helpful for you just please press the like button so that I can understand that was helpful for you so thank you thank you very much